Hey, hey, how's it going guys? My name is Eelwood and today, as previously requested, all the way back in July, and because I'm an ignorant bugger that doesn't check his mentions page on Twitter, we are taking a look at Fleezer, a very simple looking indie game on Steam, and to answer the ultimate question, is it worth your time? So, Fleezer is a single player indie sandbox action adventure game where you quite literally play as a flea named Fleezer. You run around stages from a bird's eye view perspective with an objective to locate specific spots to feed on within a very generous time limit. You'll be dodging enemy bugs, obtain two possible power ups in the form of extra time and a baby Fleezer with the true goal of the game to gain as many points as possible before your three lives are spent. That is literally the entire concept of the game. So, aesthetically, Fleezer at a glance is far from the best game I've ever seen, with a very large emphasis on the word far. For the average person, it would appear as utter garbage, what the fuck is this, or £2.89, you must be joking. But to someone that has at least the most basic comprehension of game development in some shape or form, could somewhat appreciate the decent 3D texture and animation designs from at least a certain perspective. My first impression of the game was maybe some guy in college studying game design came up with this game as a project for a large assignment, thought to themselves, this is an actual playable game, let's check it on Steam, why not? Because personally, if I was in the same class as them at the time, I'd be pushing them to get the game on Steam as well. If however the dev team are actually experienced in game design and are pretty confident, I'd have to say what the fuck are you thinking? This game looks awful, but who knows, just an example. Colours used are pretty pale and standard, the game isn't colourful enough to give a proper estimation, but everything in the game has that early development 3D game look to it, due to that over glossy sheen to pretty much everything. Textures are the same, very over glossed and hard to actually make out what in real life would have a texture like the ones they have used. Lighting effects are pretty basic as well. Your character's shadow is badly pixelated and because it doesn't quite look like it's making contact with his feet, makes Fleezer look like he's doing the cape glide from Super Mario World, as he's never actually making contact with the ground. The shadows cast on the ground from the central light look pretty weird as well, almost as if they're backwards. The anchor point used for the overhead light is definitely not central to your character to cast shadows like this. No other lighting effects that I noticed other than your character exploding upon death, which isn't too bad. Ground clutter is non-existent, but the detail and texture on certain bugs like the beetles and spiders are actually somewhat decent and give me the same feeling inside as if I saw one in real life, which is good. Level layouts are fine for this kind of game. The UI is pretty bad though, could have been considerably smaller and nicer looking with some basic alterations. Character and enemy designs are by far the best visual assets of the game, quite unsettling, somewhat realistic, but obviously not to scale. I don't think a flea is almost the same size as an ant, but I'm not an entomologist so don't take my word for it. It's very likely that these assets were the first assets created in the entire game due to the quality difference when comparing them to everything else. I let you guys come up with your own opinion of the game's overall visual quality, but personally could have been miles and miles better. The OSTs in Fleezer are very basic, heavily repeated and quite funny in my opinion. As each stage could potentially last as little as 8 seconds, they're obviously not going to make a lot of effort on the game's track. Each OST sounds like it was created with the most basic FL Studio or Ableton sounds in the fastest way possible to create anything with a beat that is better than complete silence. Which makes sense, but they did make me laugh most of the time so I didn't really mind them in all fairness. Everything else sound related is extremely generic. So generic in fact it could have been taken from a simple soundboard from Google. The bouncing sound effect did get a bit tedious after a whole 2 minutes of playing, but again, I saw the humour in it so it's not all bad. Overall sound quality? very generic. Now for the gameplay. So firstly, Fleezer doesn't have any option for difficulty when you start, as I always say, it is what it is whether you like it or not, just like every good game should be. But is it actually good? That's another question. As I already mentioned, you play as a flea, locate a big red target spot to feed on to progress to the next stage and continue on until you lose all three lives. What I failed to mention was each stage you progress, all character movement speeds seem to get considerably faster. Points are generated through simply playing the game normally. After about 4 stages, enemies start to get incredibly fast and one-shot you with ease. 
Character controls are child's play basic, anyone can play it, and I found that spamming multiple directions seemed to generate more points for some reason. When you lose all three lives, your final score is added to a high score screen, you're given a thank you message, oh cute, then you're back to the main menu. That's literally everything I could think of mentioning as far as gameplay is concerned. You don't have any kind of external factors which affect the game, and no skills, items or levelling whatsoever. The little egg you pick up which spawns a mini fleezer, I have no idea what he does. Maybe it generates you more points possibly, but to be honest I didn't pay that much attention to it through my playthrough. I played as far as I could until I game over twice, and since the game technically has an arcade like high score system with presumably endless generated stages until you die, I'll consider my playthrough a complete one. So for the ultimate question, is it worth your time? It's a silly yet amusing take on a sandbox action adventure game, worth a purchase for purely cosmetic reasons, but due to its terribly unpolished entirety, definitely not recommended. I'm going to give this game a 1 star or 21 out of 100. It is the new lowest rated game we've looked at on the channel. Fortunately for the devs though, the game is technically classed as complete the moment you lose all three lives, so they managed to avoid a no contest rating. Cheeky. As I said, for comedic reasons, the purchase is justified, but for a genuine gaming experience, you must be joking. When the devs added me their request, they did say they love my content, which was very sweet of them. I then looked at the game on Steam, watched the trailer and thought to myself, <laughs> by love my content, are they also including the fact that I'm brutally honest in that statement or not, because to be honest I wasn't quite sure. I like the decent unsettling bug designs they've used, I like the very overdramatic horn start sound and the fact that they even included a how to play in a game like this did make me smile, but that is pretty much it if I'm being honest. The crazy lighting, obstacle designs, two power ups and the game's core concept in general are all pretty bad from an immersion perspective. Your character changing directions isn't complete, the death screens are way too long and there's literally no variation to speak of whatsoever. The game is very what you see is what you get, but if there's one thing I can guarantee, the trailer does not do this game justice at all and needs to be updated ASAP. Hard to believe, but the trailer looks much worse than the actual gameplay and needs to be updated to show the recent texture changes and actual 60 FPS gameplay. And thinking about it, if they took a pixel art perspective to a game like this, it might have even had a lot more appeal due to its very simple concept. But either way, as I said, if the devs were in a similar situation that I mentioned earlier, it makes sense why the game is what it is. And think of it this way, they can pretty much guarantee any future games they release will definitely be better than this one. But at the end of the day guys, as you know, I'm not here to talk shit or blow sunshine up your ass, I'm here to tell you how it is. And Fleezer, in short, is definitely not worth your time. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more games I'll be reviewing each week, and a personal thank you to Namo, the dev team of Fleezer, for the personal request to review your game. And again, sorry for the 3 month late reply, you are very brave to ask someone like myself to give their opinion on a game like this, I have to say. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. But as always, all the best guys, take care.